Okay, hello everybody and welcome to video number two for channel three no vets. So we open finale of promise. It's a very good mythic. Yeah. So I mean you get to do you get to go off with your removal again? I mean it's quite good. I think it pairs very well with black actually. Or blue. I mean you can bounce stuff, you can kill stuff. It's a solid card. I mean, I think it's also worth a ton of tickets. Okay, let's see. Now we have Ashok. He's very good. He's a win condition on his own. I think I take it because I like blue red much better than I like uh, green red. So Paradise Druid probably has, you could argue it has more utility, it's a better enabler than Ashiok. Ashiok's more of a card that you take, you're saying you're committing. But <clears throat> I like, like I said, I like Finale with black or blue, but I don't really like it with green. So let's just take Ashiok pick two. I think it's a solid card. Death Sprout, sweet. Yeah, we're definitely taking Death Sprout, so. That's too good of a card. And it's still quite early. We could be a black, green, splashing red deck easily. Tibble Trader is excellent. Uh, other than this, I mean, Bond of Insight, I mean, we already have Finale doing the same thing. By the way, you can recycle, you can recycle Finale of Promise with Bond of Insight. So Finale of Promise doesn't get exiled. You know what, I mean, look, if you're not winning off casting Finale of Promise and you need to cast twice, something's wrong. Dimble Trader trades with like, you know, seven drops. So this thing is very powerful. Plus one plus zero is basically five really, but even more flexible because you don't need all red mana. So it's actually better than fire breathing. Uh, okay, so Honor the God Pharaohs is excellent. Taking it over Mana Geode. I like this card a lot. I mean, it does everything you need it to do. And we could still end up in my favorite archetype, which is Red Blue Spells. I'm not going to discount that. Now we have Herald of the Dread Horde or Chandra's Fire Helix. I think, oh, there's also a Mayhem Devil. Any target. Well, you know, I haven't made the Black Rat Sacrifice deck yet. But if this is it, I think we can make a fun one. Let's see if we can do something silly. All right, now we can take Spellkeeper Weird. Bring back Finale. Or we could just try to go the sacrifice route. Honestly, Spellkeeper Weird is just too strong. We can't love passing this card. I don't really want to go into a dedicated uh, sacrifice deck if I'm still seeing solid blue cards in Spellkeeper. Spellkeeper Weird is a good blue card. Also, on Crop Invader goes much later. I've seen it go like, you know, second to last pick. Blind Blast, Crash Descent or an aggressive black card. Probably Shriek Diver's done the most work for me. Yeah, I like the flexibility of giving it haste or playing it as a three drop. I mean, those types of cards tend to be good. So here's a Bond of Passion, which could actually go well with the Red black aggro sacrifice theme. Yep, gobble the assailant. I think we're being told to make this red black sack deck. That's the sense that I'm getting. It would be the first one I built. I don't think it's very well supported, unfortunately. Mayhem double is only so so. Uh, totally lost, sure. Like the reason to play red, red, black would be the option of splashing Death Sprout and having it as a ramp enabler for Finale of Promise. 
Can you imagine casting a bond of passion off the value of promise? What would you need? Eight mana? That's definitely doable. Especially with the deaths, probably you could ramp to eight and do some stupid stuff. Steal two creatures, deal four. All right, so here we can take a rising popular, so our second totally lost. Take a second totally lost. Although I hope I'm not going to play either one of them, to be honest. I really like this card. <clears throat> it can work like totally lost can work if you have a three callous dismissals and a very low curve. Yeah, you could just run your opponent over, bounce stuff, you know, make your team bigger every team, every uh, every turn. But so in other words, like I'm more likely to play totally lost if I have several callous dismissals. Put it that way. Okay, so there's a callous dismissal. There's also a four ticket card. It is colorless, and it could. I mean, look. Uh, I don't like to. I don't like to rare draft. But this thing. I mean, it could be very good. But the problem is, like, we already have death sprout now. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take Cal's dismissal. Look, I'm passing four tickets, but we're doing this thing to win drafts, and. Callous dismissal is just so good. Somebody's going to be happy with uh, some free tickets. All right, Chandra's Triumph, easy pick. Like, okay, I, I kind of, uh, let, let me explain the reason why I passed. So, like, when you're making these picks, you got to, figure their expected value. So if you're taking a money rare, uh, when there's a really good card that can significantly increase your win rate, you gotta estimate like, what is the real cost? So, okay, it's four tickets, but you know, how many more times am I gonna like three and oh or two and one instead of, you know, uh, go one and two. And because my deck is already mana intensive with double red, uh, double black, and, and, you know, we might be some combination of uh, red, black, and Grixis uh, uh, colors, basically, red, black, and blue. Uh, you know, it, it could be a real big cost putting that card into our deck. So, Tammy's Epiphany is the pick. Yeah, and, and Cal's Dismissal, like on average, is going to be way more powerful in our deck. So right now the sacrifice theme is looking less and less likely. Uh, I do like Obnixilis. I, I, you know, this card uh, should not be underestimated. Like, you can just drop it as an enchantment that ping, pings one every turn and only kill something when it really needs to. Yeah, it's either Obnixilis or Burning Prophet. I'm gonna take Obnixilis. I mean, and now there's a Gleaming Overseer, which is excellent. And there's also Spark Harvest, which we can recast on Fidelity Promise. So easy Spark Harvest for us. You know, replaying Death Sprout, replaying Spark Harvest, it's, uh, it's a very powerful effect. Mobilize District, Grim Initiate, or a Proliferate card. Hmm. <clears throat> I like Grim Initiate. Look, Grim Initiate is something that Obnixilus can just kill for as card draw. It gets in for a few points of damage, and then you can cash it in for you know four cards. Jaya's Greeting is a gift. Uh, this late in the pack. Yeah, easy, easy pick. So Invader, no escape. Yeah, we're looking like we could be an Invader deck. Chandra Spire Helix over a second Spellkeeper Weird. I mean, we're, we're definitely red. We're just not sure if we're more, if we're more heavily blue or more heavily black. 
Uh, take another green mission, sure. Uh, we can also consider something like a bond of revival, but we have seven creatures. So it's not that great. It's a green issue. I would also like an Aid the Fallen in this deck. Replaying Aid the Fallen off uh, finale is pretty sweet. Is there anything we want to protect with unlikely aid? Probably I'd sooner want my Yuri Stoneblaze, I think, than unlikely aid for a deck like this. Okay. Wow, no respect for green. Arlen's Wolf is a great card. Can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. It, I mean, I've seen him get a ridiculous amount of damage through some games. <laughs> yeah, this, this card is like a workhorse for green. Sarkan, huh? Yeah, I mean, it's a bomb rare, it's in our color. Of course we're taking it. I just wanted to remember what it does. Yeah, so basically one ones can't even attack or any X ones. <laughs> it shuts down like the two ones. They just die if they attack. Assuming you have a dragon in play, which is not that hard to make. Roll Reversal, or even Eternal, or Spellgorge are weird. Double Blue is very questionable right now. I think I'm supposed to take Spellgorge are weird. Even Eternal is just so good. Wow, this is difficult. I guess this is where we kind of need to commit. I mean, you could also take Total of the Invasion. But Spellwarder could be very good in, in this deck. Either red black or red blue. I mean this thing just becomes like a five five. Alright, I'm taking Spellwarder. Apparition's amazing, but unfortunately this is not what we wanted to see. We could take Mahiri. It's very good. I mean if it gives all our creatures uh, first strike and attacks, it's kind of what we want to do. And then it can kill any type of creatures. So happy to take an Akiri. Wow, widespread brutality. Well, if there's anything better than Jazz greeting, it's this card. All right, I'm ready to cut the blue. Uh, even though Kalos dismissal is really good. Well, now I, now I should have taken the lion, but it's, it's too late. I actually don't regret the pick at all. I think it's Firemind Vessel. Let's not forget, we do have a Death Sprout. We have Tiny as a Pippin if you want to splash it. Uh, it's a non creature card which triggers Spellboard and Weird. It is a bit slow. It doesn't really belong in the Sack deck, but it helps me get to Finale of Promise. So let's take it. And this is 24 playables already, so we're going to have to make some cuts. There's another Total of the Invasion, but uh, Lazatap Reaver is just too good. All right, I guess I talked myself into this Black Rat Sacrifice deck. And then Ashiok. Ashiok doesn't really fit well into what this deck is trying to do. I mean, unless like you're racing and you just want to give him a target to attack. Then Ashiak could be good. So Sarkan and Ashiak, I think Aid the Fallen is going to do a very good job. Well, actually, Aid the Fallen becomes a reason to play Ashiak because that's an alternative wood con. You could have a situation where your creatures are kind of just staring at each other. Wow, that's a light kid. I don't know. I mean, unless they see a substantially better card, I might just leave them in.
Yeah, let's take a shadow fuge, shadow fuge. This actually might be like an Ahiri Stone Blades deck. Because, I mean, we do have Grim Initiate, but it's probably still not good enough. I do want to play Goblin Assault Team for sure. So let's see what we cut for it. Probably the Goblin Assailant is the worst, the worst card. Another Nahiri Stone Blades. So it feels like we're kind of short on creatures, but we got to remember that uh, Invader is a creature, Widespread uh, Devastation is a creature. Yeah, I mean, in the fall, you can kind of count. Uh, Security Silver would not also be good in this deck. I don't think we can play Bond of Passion. It would be kind of inconsistent. Although, again, with Finale of Promise, it could just be something, it just, it could be a way to run opponents over. Ashok's still good enough to keep, I think. It's an alternative, it's an alternate win con. It's something to get back with Aid the Fallen. Like, what's, what am I going to put in here? A Goblin Assailant? It's just not good enough. Grim Initiate? I'm not sure that we need to. There's an argument to put in a Davriel Shadow Feed instead of Ashok. Maybe this could be better. Yep, yeah, okay. So let's go 10 7. I need double red for widespread brutality, bond of passion, and finality of promise. Am I still going to make a cut? Huh. Yeah, let's try like this. So the thing to remember about Mayhem Devil, it's not just when you sacrifice a permanent, it's whenever uh, any player sacrifices a permanent, it deals one point of damage to any target. So it's a very annoying flexible card. Okay. Wouldn't mind drawing another God Pharaohs to cycle away some of these lands. Because I've a the fallen, I'm kind of incentivized to trade. Okay. So, okay, Obnixilus is a good draw. We can start like killing Grim Initiate. Look at this, Grim Initiate holding everything back. So, Zombie Army might get in again if he amasses. Otherwise, we're just building up to Obnixilus to kill our own Grim Initiate to draw two cards. Prison Realm exiling Grim Initiate. Really? Wow, what a waste of Prison Realm. That's so sad. <laughs> Yes, OP wants to kill us ASAP. All right, let's pass. I'm, I'm going to take two. I want to try if I can. I want to try to hit Chandra's tribe with uh, something bigger. All right, let's see if we get a target. Nothing. Okay. Well, it's very awkward playing Omnixilus here. Killing him 1-1 and letting him draw two cards. 
It's not, not good. Let's see if he amasses before attacks and then if he kills off the army. Okay, nothing. Again, I can deal with two damage per turn. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. This is this is the most ridiculous game. Turn six while I play as a civil rager. Is he thinking that I maybe have some uh, board wipe board wipe effect? Widespread brutality would also be good. Like there's just, I know I'm not being mana efficient, but there's no reason to play on Mixels because he's just going to die. I'd rather save him for, like I get any creature, I can block both of these. <laughs> me, me being a 12 is not, is not too relevant. Unless they also play something like an Omnixilus, which makes you take a point of damage a turn. Okay, so now I need to add Nixilis. And I'm actually gonna kill the Vizier. Mayhem Devil's good, but now we just gotta go up Nixilis. Kill the Giant. And deal three to opponent. Okay, on graph, sure. So Omnixos is dead. <clears throat> and Iron Bully. Okay, so we can go to hearing. Oh, in the hearing, sorry. Kill the zombie army. And so here he's gonna go to one off Iron Bully, most likely, but at least I've stabilized a bit. Ashiak is actually not looking bad in this matchup. I think I'm on a sideboard in it. If our opponent's doing like a really slow, grindy uh, black white deck that's trying to go the long game, then I think it's a uh, legitimate win condition. Widespread brutality would be a little bit awkward. All right, I think I'm just probably dead, right? Got very flooded this game. Do we have any outs? What if I get the finale of eternity? I can't recast anything. I can play Chandra's Triumph. Mm, no, that's not good enough. Okay, concede. I mean, what happened? I mean, our, our deck looks much better than that result. That was very strange.
Yeah, I think bond of passion is just a little bit too unreliable. And let's play Ashiok. Hopefully we don't flood out again. Okay, okay, that might be very sick. Nothing, all right. Wonder strike, okay. And uh, the spark, I guess. It's about the only thing that can kill it for two mana. Could also be uh, the sacrifice card. Liliana's tribe. Oath of Kai. Okay, so he decided to kill it with Oath of Kai. That's fine. So now we just go Sarkhan plus. Um, Or not, well, let's just minus him. We had a 4 4 flyer. Good luck, good luck dealing with that. I think if we plus him, he would just have like something sickness. He wouldn't be able to attack. This thing is so stupid and limited. It's not, it's just not fair playing against cards like this. This is more than a two for one. This is like, you know, three for one implication. Think about how much value you're getting for five mana. Who's this? The type there? Okay, Wonder Strength. No problem. So let's plus some. Goblin Assault Team. And let's leave up uh, Chandra's Tribe. I guess I could have played Grim Initiate and, uh, to, to sack with uh, Omnixilis for value, but... Uh, I think I'd rather leave up Chandra's Tribe in case my opponent plays a blocker. Okay, well, unfortunately, I can't kill that, but we can kill it with uh, Nixilis, no problem. Uh, yeah, let's go like this. Plus Sarkang. Well, it's cool that he becomes a dragon and still does that. And let's get in for eight. So, I mean, now we don't even, even if he manages to kill everything, we just get him with the uh, fire helix, even if he kills like Salt Team and Sarkhan. It's an, I mean, we, we have just an inevitability. And this is creature, right? Not, not opponent. Yeah, this is kind of like how our deck's supposed to work, and not what happened last time. D spark, sure. Why did I not play Grim Initiate last turn? Not sure. That's that's kind of weird. Uh, 
Yeah, okay, so let's go one, one. Uh, I still like this. Yep, let's run it back. And yeah, we shouldn't forget that Ashia can also just become a dragon off Sarkhan, so... I didn't catch that in the, f the first time I ran it with uh, Davriel's Shadowkeep. That was clearly a mistake. So, each Planeswalker you control becomes a dragon. It means Ashia gets in before. Yep, this is fine. Let's set upkeep in case we want to Jaya's Green to increase probability of hitting a swamp. We'll do it next turn, not now. Okay, I'm still gonna pyro helix this. I'd rather save uh, Jai's Green for something better. Shit is just getting in there. Oh, perfect. All right, so I guess we go Shriek Diver. We give it haste. Yeah, so D Spark is his only removal that he can't target to uh, Shriek Diver. There's no problem, okay. So he's gonna take the Shriek Diver, no problem. Really hoping to and draw a swamp so I can play on Nixilis. Oh, Spark, Elazitep Reaver is also good. And we get to keep on Jai's Green. Look at this little 1 1 doing work. So Obnixilis or Ashiak, uh, I think uh, we're better off playing Obnixilis because he thinks for one every turn and if my opponent has any card draw, then it's uh, even more direct damage. So I think with this on the board, we have it locked down because he's taking four, yeah, because now it's like five damage a turn. Oh no, D Spark. No, that's okay. Told the invasion. Let's see what he takes. <laughs> Probably takes uh, like Spark Harvest, I guess. Let's see what he's more worried about. This, this is a. Uh, this is this is interesting. 
Because, I mean, if his hand is blank, he also understands that I can snap down Ashiok and just start milling and then chumping with my, you know, grim initiative that comes back. Uh, <laughs> so it's like, it's a situation where you're, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. Yeah, he took Ashiok. That's kind of hilarious. So... Yeah, no reason to waste Giants greeting on, uh, on a 1-1. One, one. All right, let's see what we sky. Okay, let's get rid of that. And Sarkhan, Sarkhan off the top. So we're quite close to hard fire range which could deal four directly. What is this? Soren's Thirst, okay. I'm still stuck on four, okay. He found his fifth land, good for him. Not playing anything, interesting. That's gotta suck. Sarkhan. Oh, not Sarkhan. But he knows that we have Spark Harvest, so we should be cautious and not kill the first creature that he uh, puts down. I have to assume that he's playing around Spark Harvest, but it looks like he's just also flooded. Or maybe he, he has uh, off-color cards that he can't play, his splash cards. That's also a possibility. Well, every, every turn, I'm just digging a Sarkhan. He's in there somewhere. <laughs> Neither one of us has done anything for like, I think, six turns now, since turn eight. What? So he's holding removal and I'm holding removal. That's probably what this means. And since there's nothing on the board, there's nothing to target. Okay, shriek there, fine. And I do want to play my lands out for Tibble Trager just to maximize uh, damage. Arcan. And okay, okay. So let's see, we can get back Ashiok. So let's go Reaver. Koshyak. And now we can just mill him out because that's exactly 20 cards. If he doesn't have an answer, it's just game. But I might just kill him with damage before then. 
Let's see. Okay, so now I think he's playing his like good creature into Spark Harvest, knowing that he doesn't have a choice. This is the Tide Bear Giant, I imagine. So he's gonna take one damage, draw a card. Oh, Kaida. Okay. So she's gonna exile zombie army. Sure. No again. Oh, let's stack opponent. I don't. I don't really care if you like whatever he uses. Kion. I'll just throw. Uh, I'll use Hardfire to hit face. And then the last point of damage will go to Kaya to get her off the board. I could also deal the last point of damage to our opponent. I'm not sure what's better. Spark Harvest, killing Ashiok. Okay, so let's aim at opponent. Sacrifice Ashiok. And deal one. And then Kai is going to exile Mayhem Devil. But now I have a lot of, I mean, uh, Chandra's trolls. Ch okay, I already drew my Chandra's party I think I have a couple more things that do direct damage. And I have removal in hand, so. I think I'm still a favorite to win. Yeah. So Spellboard, you're weird. I'm not too concerned about Kaya because her minus effect is minus three, so he would need to proliferate twice to activate that. Otherwise, he may be in a position where he's chum blocking, all right? So he gets his. Um, this means I could kind of sit back and. Oh, there he is. So this is probably concession. Okay, let's go to game two. Let's just quickly take a look and see if we want to change anything first. Bond of Passion, I think, is a little bit, yeah, Ashiak definitely needs to come in. Bond of Passion is out, and I kind of like having this card, but I don't know if I can make room for it. Yeah, it's gotta, it's gotta be this. All right, we definitely wanna play first. The only thing our deck is missing is like Tybalt. Oh, that's a sweet opening hand. Well, we are playing 17 land, so let's hope we don't get mana screwed. Yes. Uh, probably want an uncrop invader. Or maybe shoot diver. 
Uh, maybe shriek time is better. Yeah, because next turn I want to play the hearing. And I have double right, so. Sure, okay. Oh, by the way, that's actually, that actually helps me if I have my uh, devil on the battlefield. I get to pink for one if I do that. My eat the full matter. Good over, fine. Go Sarkan minus right away. So we can try to race like this. I don't want to play Nahiri because then she just dies. Okay. Wait, did he deal two? Oh, they're attacking Sarka? Oh, he doesn't become a dragon at all. End of turn, never mind. Oh, that's unfortunate. I misread that. King's flying. So it feels kind of moot. I mean, okay, so he's gonna die. So does that mean I hard fire one of these things? I guess I, I guess I do because I don't really. I need to stop depleting somehow. Mm. So let's see. I have three hard fire. I can't cast anything yet. Let's just do this and kill the operative. So the Huey's a tough girl, she can take a hit. She goes to two and then she can kill Harold. All right, let's go on the God Pharaoh first, discarding Ashiok. Okay, that's actually really good. So we can just then um, kill Harold. Oh no, wait, I need to do it again. No, oh, crap. <laughs> I screwed up. I had to. I had to pump. Ah, never mind. All right. So I guess whatever. He's gonna attack into a Huey. The Huey again. I just let her die. Take the evasion. Oh no! He's gonna take finale of promise. That's weak. Let's go, Shadow Strike first. Well, it's like I got zero cards. Uh oh. Yeah, it's a finale of promise. 
because I already have uh, Honor the God Pharaoh and uh, Chandra's Triumph, so it's just good value. All right, so here he died because I'm an idiot. Uh, all right, so we can go on Nicole Bolas, or uh, sorry, Abdixel if you got. He's not quite that big. Uh, I can also play Mayhem Devil. Just trade and blank their 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I think it's better to just play this. And let's start. Aid the fall and getting back Sarkhan would be so sick. Okay, after some deliberation, opponent chooses to accept the trade. Uh, you have your own obliques, okay. okay. Unfortunately, my auto yields were turned off. Uh, all right, buddy, take and play that game. I drew some really good cards, by the way. <laughs> so let's just go Lazar Tap Reaver, Mass, and we'll Pyro Helix. Uh, we'll Shadow Spire Helix when opponent attacks. Okay, so opponent's drawing two cards. Spark Reaper, okay. So we still need to, Jai is greeting this. He's gonna sack it to his own ability. So we're not really getting good value. Oh, he didn't. He missed one. <laughs> he forgot to sack it, that's weird. Okay, let's play our own Alexis. I guess no, let's, let's attack first. And let's kill our, our army to draw a card. Or to draw two cards, rather. All right, so opponent kind of got me there. He, Chandra's trying my creature so that before I could destroy him. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna attack and then sack to draw two cards. That is a good one. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just passing here. Okay, passing again, not doing much. We still have the better board state with a uh, Nexus and removal in hand. And eight the fall is looking really good right about now. Okay, so Omnixilis is going to die, or not, Spell Order Weird to the rescue. Come on, aid the fallen. Aid me, buddy. 
Another one sweet. Wow, okay, I don't need to do this because it's gonna kill my spell gorgers, but I'm just gonna, I guess I can attack one, right? Do I care if I'm little guys? I kind of do, I, I'd rather have him alive. If he's, uh, I don't know what he's splashing with blue, but if he's splashing card draw, then this uh, makes it more difficult for him to play that. Often, if there's an island, they splash to use a so some. With Obnixilus on the board, I could just kind of shut it down. Rounds out person, okay. So that's fine. <laughs> okay, so now we can go widespread brutality. Spellgorger weird is going to it will get bigger. Let me read this card again. Mass two, and then each non-army creature. So their non-army creature doesn't die. But this is still pretty sweet. So I can't attack, but now I'm I have a I'm threatening lethal next turn, so let's see what my opponent plays. His own spell would you weird? Fine. Red horde invasion, that's just gonna kill him. That's not good. So Knight takes one off Omnixilis and one off Dreadhorde Invasion. Ugh. And I'm 13 life. In the fallen, okay. So he goes to two, he goes to one. <laughs> uh, do I want an evasive flyer? I don't think so. I mean, everything else just synergizes so well. It's such a smooth curve. <clears throat> okay. That's a decent opening hand. Oh, no way. That's just, that's just too good. Come on. Let's go spell Gorger weird. Then we can play Mahiri and it'll be a 3-3 for a striker. So 3-3 three, three for a strike means I can attack.
Right, so the Huey will live. Unfortunately, she won't be able to do much damage. Although, I shouldn't say that because <clears throat> if I can get something that pings, oh, not that, unfortunately. Uh, so let's see. He's going to have six power on the board next turn, but he's taking the damage per turn. Grim Initiate can block forever. I think I'm better off pressing the initiative here. So let's go Ashiok. Minus attack. And yeah, Grim Initiate is definitely jumping here because my opponent's at nine. I want to get him dead. And again, it depends on what he attacks and who he attacks, but I'm totally willing to just uh, prevent damage here to stay ahead in the race. Mm -hmm. So let's see, Ashiok, Nahiri, Ashiok. All right, so I block, so I'm gonna chop one of the zombie armies. Because if I get Sarkan off the top, then I want Ashiok alive. That could be lethal. Widespread brutality. Yeah, this is gonna get our opponent real bad here. Oh boy. Ouch. So oh, he's just dead on upkeep then. Okay. On to the finals. Okay, as always, I want to play first. Yeah, it's good enough. We have plenty of early stuff. Hopefully we find something. Profit. Okay. Let's just play this now. There's no reason to play Nahiri. We can replay this later off in Alley of Promise potentially. That could be pretty sick. <clears throat> so plays Dreadhorde and attacks with Burning Prophet. So most likely I go Nahiri and kill Burning Prophet here, right? And then she dies to Herald. It's not the best, but... Again, I have eight the Fallen, so if any Planeswalker I can get into the graveyard, it's just value. I'm gonna kill the spell gorge are weird. Hmm. 
Yeah, not the best use of the obnix list, but we can maybe get some of those extra cards out with uh, recasting Gabrielle's Shadow Fugue off Finale of Promise. So maybe it's not that bad over the course of the game. All right, I'm gonna have to take one on the chin next turn. There's nothing I can do. No use in wasting finale just to make him discard two cards. <coughs> Oof. Yeah, opponent's deck is very good. So I could hard fire and kill up Nixilus now. Yeah, because I can just Yeah, so I can recast hard fire at some point. without having to sacrifice something, so it's better to just get on Nixilus off the board now because I'm taking damage every turn and he can now draw cards by removing counters. Ouch. So a very good draw here would be like I was going to say Sarkhand, sure. Pretty, pretty tense situation here. Let's see what he does. He probably attacks with everything to kill Sarkhan. He might have Raskar's finisher or... So Sarkhan dies, fine. Kazmina. Well, I need the uh, widespread brutality or basically I'm dead. So what can I do? I can recast Hardfire and Shadow Feed. Diviner. Yeah, this is going to be a tough matchup. Our decks are actually quite similar. Like a card, okay, and then whoa, whoa, whoa! Why isn't it letting me click on Heartfire? The stack. What about paying their mana cost? 
Ah, uh, so the SAC requirement is not a meta cost, but it's still a cost I need to sacrifice something. Not paying there. Meta cost, but not casting cost. Uh, nuances, nuances. So that was pretty much pointless. Um, I guess I'm dead now. I'm taking eight, I go to four. I guess if I find white spread brutality, I can maybe live. Oh, man, I needed, I needed that hard fire. Oh, that's, that's a shame. <laughs> We got Turret Ogre and Spark Harvest, which makes me concerned about what their last two cards are. Is it like, okay, Tamiyo's Epiphany, sure. Davriel, okay, well now I'm definitely done. Yeah, I mean, even if I get widespread brutality, I'm just dead on upkeep. Okay. So, how do I beat this? Bond of Passion doesn't seem like uh, it's reliable enough. I really don't see a way of making this better. I think we need to run it back and just hope for the best. Yeah, we really needed to find eight to fall in there, but oh well. All right, let's play first. Uh, yeah, it's a keep. Okay, spell gorger and tomb here could also be good. I think we can challenge us trying with that. We can also go into Kiri. I guess this is more man efficient. No attacks. Wow. So we could go, we can try to set up a double block, but we might get blown out. So I think I'm better off playing with my spell gorge and weird and just passing. I don't know what tricks you could have up his sleeve, but I'd rather remain untapped. So you're gonna kill my spell gorge and weird and I'm gonna draw two cards. Or not, okay. So this is going to be a pretty bad lot for our opponent. I could do one of two things. I could go my own Obnixilis and kill the Spell Gorger. He would draw two. And then I attack. I can also just go share this Triumph. Up next loss seems more mana efficient, right? Yeah, so let's go up next loss. Mm. 
I mean, I don't care if he's drawing cards because with Finale of Promise, Mark Harvest, and Chandra's Triumph, I'm set up to go to the whole game. Let's send them both at um, Nexos. You might also remove a counter from it and just let it die. <clears throat> okay, so he removes a counter, draws a card, up next little dice, I ping for one. Okay. So it's thirst. Oh, he's going to sacrifice the little treasure. That doesn't seem good. Okay. I don't see a reason to sit on it. So let's do the math. So I can deal an extra three points of damage. Okay, so if I Pyro Helix now, he goes to seven. I have to save it, I think. So I want to let him draw two cards. I guess I want to let him draw the Diviner. I want to draw Spark Harvest. I guess he could draw the Rager. I could kill it with uh, Pyro Helix. Okay. Misclick and give him Spark Harvest. I don't think that was supposed to happen. Okay, so let's see if our next list targets uh, zombie army to draw cards. So now I can show just power helix it. This pretty much does nothing. Okay. So what happens if we spark harvest?
Okay, so we can kill that with uh, Chandra's Triumph. Oh, it keeps drawing cards. Okay, it's aggressive. I think we just sit back for now. I mean, he can't really attack. We have Finale of Promise. We just need to wait for a better, better turn. Turn over. Okay, well, now might be a time to use it. Okay, and the Ashiok. Good. Okay, so let's think this through. Um, Harvest is five, right? Oh, oh. I must click that, and that's a shame. And so I don't get to kill Obnixilus this turn because I did not know how the damn card worked. Wait, what? Why is why is Ogre what just happened? And that's that's just not cool. Seriously. I have no idea what just happened. And that is unfortunate. I mean, we're still kind of set up to win because Jai's greeting is going to trade with Turk Ogre and is he going to sack up next Okay. Turret Ogre should be dead. I don't. I really don't understand what I, what the hell I misclicked on. That's so weird. All right, that was terrible. I need to be very careful with this card. That is not really good game design in my opinion. I think this may just be like our best opening hand out of all the games that we played. Ouch, opponent mulligan to five. This might be a quick game.
it looking good so far. If he doesn't have a three drop, he's in a lot of trouble. Or if this is like Honor the God Pharaoh, it's, he's still in a lot of trouble. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I had to step away there for a second, but we're back. Like I said, this might be a quick one. Because now I can recast Finale of Purpose getting uh, to draw onto the God Pharaoh and Shaman's Triumph. That might just be good enough if I have nothing better to do. That's a tap rebar. Well. Hmm. So let's see. If I go Finale of Promise, getting Chandra's Triumph and Honor the God Pharaoh, I draw two and kill something. But I can't get him for damage. If I play Lazatek Reaver, I can get him with Rager and the zombie army. So I think this is actually the better play. Not quite ready to swing with Grim Initiate and throw him away. I don't think we're there yet. Oh no, oh no, that's not cool. My best card. <laughs> Darn, all right, well. Let's see what I draw. Mm, up next loss is not bad. There is a good draw, actually. Rouse outburst, okay. Oh, it's unfortunate.
So I'm very close. And then we do it. Then we come back from being one game down, having a misfire with the finale of Promise. He needs to kill Shriek Diver. Chandra's Pirate Helix would do it. Nope, we did it. All right, well, kind of a sloppy draft, but we still got there. Hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time.